hello everybody in this video we'll be talking about dubai uae is one country which has transformed itself in the past two decades transformed to a level that people from north america europe and almost all the different parts of the world want to immigrate and settle in cities like dubai and abu dhabi so in this video we'll be talking about some of the new visa types that have been declared by the uae government and one of the most important one out of those is the new job exploration visa so finally you would have a chance to go to dubai look for jobs what are the details what's the eligibility criteria we'll talk all about that in this video and apart from that we'll also be talking about some of the big changes to the golden visa yes i already made a detailed video on golden visa but it was only for eminent personalities or extremely talented people but now uae government has announced some changes that would make it easier for people like you and me to immigrate and settle in uae after getting golden visa so we're going to talk all about that in this video all right guys so let's start with the job exploration visa so just like germany dubai has also announced the job exploration visa which means that you can go to uae and look for jobs without even having a job offer this visa is introduced with the aim of attracting young talents and skilled professionals to explore different job opportunities available in the country and the great thing is that it does not require a sponsor or a host. Now talking about the eligibility criteria, it is granted to those classified in the first, second or third skill level as per the UAE government. Now which are those different skill levels? We'll discuss that in a bit. Apart from that, the fresh graduates of the best 500 universities in the world. Now UK also recently announced a similar visa for the fresh graduates from around the world but it was for the top 100 colleges this is top 500 so the range is much bigger but they haven't announced their own list of such universities and the third criteria is that the minimum education level should be a bachelor's degree or its equivalent so this visa was declared almost two months ago in the mid of april and it is expected that they will start this new system or the new visa somewhere towards september of 2022 now this is all the information we have about this particular visa we are not sure about the validity of this visa most probably it would be around six months but as and when they announce more details about it i'll try to make a detailed video okay now let's check out those different skill level jobs so some details are mentioned in this particular page this is also the official website of government of uae here they've explained that there are five levels of skills one to five jobs that need a skill of level one are the highly skilled people and those that need a skill of level 5 are for the lower skilled. Employees holding a job that needs skill levels 1, 2 or 3 are required to submit their academic certificates duly attested in order to get a work permit from the ministry. While the permissions are not required for 4 or 5. So for this job seeker visa, you would actually need this first step to be done as well. Now let's check out the different skill levels. So in this page you'll find different jobs. Uh, you know all these managerial jobs are marked as level one so you'd see bunch of jobs of course all the jobs what are available in labor market are mentioned over here so you would find bunch of jobs all from all different sectors so all the managerial jobs basically i found out were um, skill level one but apart from that if i try to scroll down there are many other jobs like journalists that are also in skill level one and if i try to search the it jobs so software developer web developer computer programmer all these are actually skill level one jobs so basically a lot of the it jobs that are there would actually be eligible for this job seeker visa if you scroll down you'll find different other jobs like the deck officer aircraft pilot skill level two aircraft test pilot skill level two and then many other jobs which are for skill level three so any jobs which are for skill level one two or three would be eligible and as mentioned certificate would be required okay now let's talk about the big changes in the golden visa okay earlier i made a detailed video on this golden visa that i was talking about i'll provide the link to this uh, video in the description box but this video was about the benefits of the golden visa and who can get it basically not everyone was able to get the golden visa until now but the government of uae has actually made some changes and now many people would be actually eligible for this particular visa so this is the official announcement this is the official website of government of uae 
and we can see the changes in the golden residence visa so as earlier also uh, golden residence visa was applicable for scientists for people who have got exceptional talents but i want to talk about a specific change about this particular change the golden residence for professionals so a major expansion has been introduced in this category to attract the highly skilled workers with educational qualifications and professional experience in all disciplines including medicine science and engineering information technology business and administration education law culture and social sciences so it's a big expansion actually and many people would now be eligible so the applicant should have a valid employment contract in the uae and should be classified in the first or second occupational level as per their government so we discussed the various skill levels and all those who are in the first and second would now be eligible the minimum educational level must be bachelor's degree or equivalent and the monthly salary should not be less than 30000 dirhams now getting a salary of this amount every month is not easy but it's not very difficult in a land of opportunities which is called as dubai and apart from these changes there are many other changes that have been introduced some other visa categories that have been included and some changes to the existing visa categories that are all listed here i'll provide the link to official web page this announcement in the description box below if you guys are interested you can actually check it out so thanks a lot for watching this video guys if the video was helpful please click the like button if you have any comments any queries please put down in the comment section below and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button thanks a lot for watching this video